Hi Leo, welcome to my channel Leo. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today Leo, this is a collective tarot reading session for the Leo sign. Thank you so much Leo for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Leo for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Leo, please click the bell and click the subscribe button, okay? This is a weekly collective reading for the Leo sign. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click the subscribe button. In today's reading, we'll look at your situation, we'll look at your focus, we'll pick up your overall energy, and then the second part of the reading, we will see what is coming towards you in love, career, money, and general situation. What is the guided message for the sign of Leo? What is coming towards you? This is post solar eclipse moving towards third week of April to May. If I will be able to pick up a specific timeline, I will let you know. But basically, it is valid for year 2024. Okay? So. <clears throat> What's the guided message for the Leo sign, please? You have the Queen of Pentacles in here. The Hidden Energy. You have the Resilience. Okay, what's coming towards Leo is the Sun card. Nice. Okay, Leo, let's start your reading. You're starting the reading with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, this is so you. Um, it feels like after the, you know, post-eclipse, uh, last Monday with the Queen of Wands, I feel like you were able to really pull yourself together into a vibe, into an energy where you know where to go next. Okay, like I could feel that the eclipse has somehow set you up with the Queen of Wands in here because look at that your charisma into communication into presentation into people connection uh, it looks like it has increased your charisma your self-confident your self-esteem it definitely has a lot of traction or it's it has increased it's more improving and increasing um with the queen of wands and the two of wands in here i believe the reason why this is is in the process of ex, you know like it's increasing further your charm, your charisma, because you have managed to set and maintain a healthy boundaries with people connection, uh, people relationship in here. Also, I could feel the power uh, in you and learning like w w with the nine of pentacles in here, you realize that there's a power in saying no like no is a complete sentence okay um you're very picky because you know you're special okay you're very special you or you're treating yourself well you're very special and you have to treat your special you are regal like the queen of wands you sit there you generate a lot of you generate a lot of good vibes around people and you shouldn't just give it away so you took your power back in the sense that your self-esteem your self-confident it has gone back and it has increased because you trust yourself that setting boundaries is gonna be like setting boundaries or saying no it's gonna it's gonna make you more attractive you know the nine of pentacles like you're rare like you become so rare because you don't just say to everyone or to a situation you have boundaries you have a uh, limitation now so if they want to avail you they've got to really meet uh, you up in your requirements okay you're rare the knight of pentacles in here i could really pick up that the more you the more you implement the like the more you implement this new system the more you say no, the more you are choosy and picky because you're special, the more your self-worth will increase and your net value will also increase, Leo. The Knight of Pentacles in here. If you keep saying no, then you will only get 
special, rare, powerful offers, important attention, you will be able to uh, filter out the noise. It's more of like you will only read important emails. The rest, they go directly to your junk or um, the junk mail with the Knight of Pentacles in here. You have the Devil card. You've used, um, you're wiser now. You know, with the devil card, you're very wise as much as you would like to be out and about and, um, you know, connect, be connected, you know, be, you want to be out and about. You, you want, you want to explore the world, especially people connection, but you have limitation. You don't just share, like you're very picky with sharing your money with your energy, especially your talent, your skills. So you're very picky. Yeah, the Hermit card. Like normally, I could pick up in here that in the past, when you meet new person, when you are in the process of maybe dating, getting to know, or in the process of, you know, connecting to a new person, whether it's business, friendship, or work situation, um, you, you gave them, you know, you, 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 you are giving them an access to who you really are which is sometimes it's too early in the process. So with the Hermit card, you're more of a watcher, a viewer, and you are giving just enough information for them for, you, for them to be interested with you. And as soon as you get there, as soon as you trust them, then you let them in in your world. So you have boundaries now. And these are strong boundaries, Leo, because you have boundaries. You have set, you have set up a very, you have set up, a very powerful filter and because of that the only people or offer or energy that would be joining you are the right one all quality in here okay now the second part of the reading um oh look at that, the five of swords there's revenge and it's a coming from king of wands you're the queen of wands in here so what's coming towards you between now up until you know, uh, April onwards is that there is an energy building up in the background and it's coming from the King of Wands, okay? The King of Wands, this is definitely like a one-on-one -on -one partnership. This could be friendship. This could be business. This could be, this could be romantic too. I don't think this is connected to a family member, okay? This is your king of wands because you're the queen of wands this is your king of wands it means that you have the same liking okay you like each other you like working with each other you are a match okay in terms of vibration energy you are a match in in fact your combination is a powerful match however there's a five of swords and the queen of pentacles in here it's possible that you and this person you fought misunderstanding or there's a heavy talking behind the back or maybe there is a bit of like a snake energy in here or two face in here leo because the queen of pentacles in here it's possible that your misunderstanding is about money your misunderstanding your misunderstanding is about money your misunderstanding is about you know someone is not reciprocating the other person there is a betrayal or at least i could pick up that you guys you guys are friend but you keep out growing or no you guys are friend but you keep competing to each other you guys are lovers but one is giving one is just receiving and not giving so un un um i don't think it's unrequited it's more of one is very manipulative in the sense that they want more from you but they don't give okay and i think that's the reason why you had the five of swords because you're giving they're not because they have the five of swords in here or at least it it looks like maybe this is um maybe it's mutual but there's definitely a betrayal when it comes to money when it comes to giving and receiving also it could be connected to a group of people where they're your king of wands but they took side the other people okay there's definitely jealousy in here and there's definitely like two-faced or we you know like 
we're couple, we're best friend, we're friends, we're lovers, we're partnership, but they're probably doing something behind your back and you know that. Or you could be doing something behind it, like the relationship is strained. Yeah, the Justice card, the Seven of Wands. Okay, um, they're very sorry, okay? Um, I think in a nutshell, the history, because whatever you do, they're still your King of Wands. Like this is a person that you could still, you still consider them as one of your best friend, as one of your best person, best friend. There's still a lot of you and this person wanting to reconnect, reconcile, because you've, you've got the Justice card, the Seven of Wands, the Magician card. In fact, this person realized that, you know, the misunderstanding, the deception, deceptiveness, whatever separated you together, it is a test. And this person is choosing to accept that I have fault. You also have fault with the justice card, but we shouldn't break up. In fact, we should talk, Leo, okay? Look at that. Um, I feel like this person is very apologetic. They might have a little bit of... Um, I think they're very apologetic of what they've done and somehow they're very focused on apologizing whoever this person is they realize that the five of swords whatever whatever is the reason why you whatever is the reason why you guys are not okay uh they realize that it is a test it is a test in your relationship and you did both of you failed like it's a test between the two of you and both of you failed and they realize that instead of diving deeper to whose fault, my fault, your fault, they're just going to say sorry. And they want to patch things up in here with the Justice card and the Seven of Wands. Like this person would like to start all over again. Especially with the Magician card in here. They want to start all over again. Your reaction, there's a Seven of Wands and there's a Seven of Wands again in here. So you're quite conflicted. I wouldn't be surprised if you're quite conflicted in the beginning, but as you go and connect with this person, I think you would be happy to remember that you have a friend, you still have a friend in them, you still have a lover in them, you still have a very reliable energy in them, okay? So there is the, the trust, the time is somehow like you've lost the time you've lost the trust but it doesn't mean that you won't be able to get it back and that's the reason why they're coming towards as a king of wands and a queen of cups so this person is very i'm accountable i'm sorry they wouldn't even concentrate if it's your fault they're, they're gonna take accountability and with the seven of wands um this is a draw i'm hearing the word draw like seven of wands seven of wands like a draw you're wrong i'm wrong so let's hit the sun and the sun is like let's be friends or let's take it from here like let's accept that we both are at fault you know because at them at the end of the day you guys are powerful together okay together again so yeah, it's a it's a developing story it's an it's interesting to to see them to hear from them and it's nice to think that you will be uh, with them again okay so this is what i have for you, leo thank you uh and i'm hearing the word they're overly sorry or overly accommodating like they're quite exaggerated in the way they take accountability of it's my fault it's you know no 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 leo it's my fault it's really is my fault and then somehow you realize both of you are both of you acted immature like you know because of the intensity of the situation you guys con you guys both like you guys both focus on moving on not staying and fixing it but it's all now like it's we all know that it has happened so what's next between you and me the sun card thank you rio rio <laughs> leo this is you oh maybe this is a letter r or a rio um Thank you so much, uh, Leo, for supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. I will be doing your love reading, your love message later today. So uh, thank you so much. And for 
the new viewers please don't forget to click the subscribe button if you click the subscribe button you're giving me an energetic permission to connect with you guys and we can use the internet as the oracle as the vortex uh, to connect and who knows one day i'm gonna be spot on with you so please click the subscribe button i'll see you soon guys you have a great day